Welcome back to my kitchen, guys. Um, today, we're gonna do something really cool. I actually did this dish for Valentine's Day. It's super simple to make, and it looks fancy. That's why I like it. It's called the Nut Crusted Mahi Mahi. And the great part about this dish that I personally love is that I know you, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm on the WW journey, which is Weight Watchers Reimagined. So I count my points every single meal. And this one serving is only two points for WW. So that's where I got the recipe from and I wanna share it with you guys. So I kinda like went ahead and prepared everything um, ahead of time. This is two tablespoons of chopped parsley, fresh parsley. This is three tablespoons of macadamia nut. Uh, macadamia nut, I always say it wrong. <laughs> and this is a fourth cup of panko crumbs, and this is one large egg white. And I kind of like whisked it a little bit. So I have my fish, and you want to take the skin off of your mahi mahi in general before you cook this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to coat your pan, which I thought well, I actually found this step interesting. You want to coat it with cooking spray and then put it in the oven when you preheat it, like empty. I don't know why, but it's part of the instructions, so I followed it, and that's what we're gonna do. So, that's coated. And then we're just gonna put it empty in the oven, 450 degrees, and that's ready to go. All right, next step, it says place the nuts, the panko, and the parsley, um, or you can substitute the parsley with cilantro if you like that better. I'm not a big cilantro fan, so I did parsley and then the fourth teaspoon of salt in a mini chopper or blender. So here's my mini chopper. And we'll just move these over for a second. Um, I found that when I did this the last time, I couldn't fit it all in. So I'm gonna just do a little bit and I'm gonna have to do two rounds of it because it was just like too much. Chopper couldn't handle it. So if you have a bigger chopper, then you can probably just do all of it at once. like this. It's done. And then we'll just do the rest. I know mix right there. So it's pretty much all blended. Let's get these out of the way. So once you have them all blended, you want to put them in a shallow bowl like this and then just set it aside. The next thing you want to do is you want to place the fish on a plate and then rub sea salt all over it. So I don't know about you, but I don't like the smell of fish on my hands. So I'm going to use gloves. I actually um, always use like latex gloves, almost like the ones that doctors use. You can get a box for pretty cheap and then just have them in your kitchen, but I'm all out. So I'm using brand new dish gloves. They look, look way more intense. So grab the fish, little, little guy, place it there. Okay. And I'm gonna rub a half tablespoon of salt. So I'm just gonna wing it. Just do salt right there. Flip it over. Just kind of like rub it in like so. All over the fish. Now we want to dip the fish into the egg. So I'm just going to pour the egg all over here like this. And just mix it in. Okay. Now that that's pretty much done, I'm just going to rinse my hands real quick. It's time to take the pan out of the oven. remember it's all that's in there it's just the cooking spray this is kind of a fun part because you oh, I almost went to the oven. hello <laughs> okay um you want to just grab the fish and now that it's coated with the egg white you dip it there you dip it there and you place it on the pan
how nice that looks. Pretty. All right, so then you're basically done with touching fish. If you're not a fan, then you get it. So once it's in here like this, you just put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and wait for it to cook. All right, so it looks ready. Pretty tasty looking. So this is supposed to be four servings, so you can just like chop it up in half. And there's that. Looks and smells delicious. Fancy it up. Um, put a little bit more salt on top, like that. A little parsley to garnish. And you guys, I am not a chef. I don't cook, but look at that, right? Look at that, looks so good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Really simple to make, looks really fancy on the plate, which I love. And if you wanna check out the full recipe, we'll put it in the vlog for you. Comment below and let me know if you did this and how it turned out. I would love to see pictures. And we're gonna try to do some more of these cooking segments. So let us know if there's a recipe that you kinda want me to try. I would love that.